Question 67.16. Questioner, are you familiar with a book that the instrument and I wrote approximately 12 years ago called The Crucifixion of Esmeralda Sweetwater, in particular the banishing ritual that we used to bring the entities to earth? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 67.17. Questioner, were there any incorrectnesses in our writing with respect to the way this was performed? Answer, I am Ra. The incorrectnesses occurred only due to the difficulty an author would have in describing the length of training necessary to enable the ones known in that particular writing as Theodore and Pablo in the necessary disciplines. Question 67.18 Questioner, it has seemed to me that that book has somehow, in its entirety, been a link to many of those whom we have met since we wrote it and to many of the activities we have experienced. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is quite so. Question 67.19 Questioner, the fifth density entity you mentioned penetrated the quarantine. Was this done through one of the windows or was this because of his, shall I say, magical ability? Answer, I am Ra. This was done through a very slight window which less magically oriented entities or groups could not have used to advantage. Question 67.20 Questioner, the main point with this line of questioning has to do with the first distortion and the fact that this window exists. Was this a portion of the random effect and are we experiencing the same type of balancing in receiving the offerings of this entity as the planet in general receives because of the window effect? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct. As the planetary sphere accepts more highly evolved positive entities or groups with information to offer, the same opportunity must be offered to similarly wise negatively oriented entities or groups. Question 67.21 Questioner, then we experience in this seeming difficulty the wisdom of the first distortion and for that reason must fully accept that which we experience. This is my personal view. Is it congruent with Ra's? Answer, I am Ra. In our view we would perhaps go further in expressing appreciation of this opportunity. This is an intensive opportunity in that it is quite marked in its effects, both actual and potential, and as it affects the instrument's distortions towards pain and other difficulties such as the dizziness, it enables the instrument to continuously choose to serve others and to serve the Creator. Similarly it offers a continual opportunity for each in the group to express support under more distorted or difficult circumstances of the other self experiencing the brunt, shall we say, of this attack thus being able to demonstrate the love and light of the infinite creator and, furthermore, choosing working by working to continue to serve as messengers for this information which we attempt to offer and to serve the creator thereby. Thus the opportunities are quite noticeable as well as the distortions caused by this circumstance. Question 67.22 Questioner, thank you. Is this so-called attack offered to myself and, name as well as the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 67.23. Questioner, I personally have felt no effect that I am aware of. Is it possible for you to tell me how we are offered this service? Answer, I am Ra. The questioner has been offered the service of doubting the self and of becoming disheartened over various distortions of the personal nature. This entity has not chosen to use these opportunities and the Orion entity has basically ceased to be interested in maintaining constant surveillance of this entity. The scribe is under constant surveillance and has been offered numerous opportunities for the intensification of the mental emotional distortions and in some cases the connection matrices between mental emotional complexes and the physical complex counterpart. As this entity has become aware of these attacks it has become much less pervious to them. This is the particular cause of the great intensification and constancy of the surveillance of the instrument, for it is the weak link due to factors beyond its control within this incarnation. Question 67.24 Questioner, is it within the first distortion to tell me why the instrument experienced so many physical distortions during the new times of its physical incarnation? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 67.25 Questioner, in that case can you answer me as to why the instrument experienced so much during its early years? Answer, I am Ra. 
we were affirming the correctness of your assumption that such answers would be breaking the way of confusion. It is not appropriate for such answers to be laid out as a table spread for dinner. It is appropriate that the complexes of opportunity involved be contemplated. Question 67.26 Questioner, then there is no other service at this time that we can offer that fifth density entity of the Orion group who is constantly with us. As I see it now from your point of view there is nothing that we can do for him. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. There is great humor in your attempt to be of polarized service to the opposite polarity. There is a natural difficulty in doing so since what you consider service is considered by this entity non-service. As you send this entity love and light and wish it well it loses its polarity and needs to regroup. Thus it would not consider your service as such. On the other hand, if you allowed it to be of service by removing this instrument from your midst you might perhaps perceive this as not being of service. You have here a balanced and polarized view of the Creator, two services offered, mutually rejected, and in a state of equilibrium in which free will is preserved and each allowed to go upon its own path of experiencing the one infinite Creator. Question 67.27 Questioner, thank you. In closing that part of the discussion I would just say that if there is anything that we can do that is within our ability, and I understand that there are many things such as the ones that you just mentioned that are not within our ability, that we could do for this particular entity if you would in the future communicate its requests to us we will at least consider them because we would like to serve in every respect. Is this agreeable to you? Answer, I am Ra. We perceive that we have not been able to clarify your service versus its desire for service. You need, in our humble opinion, to look at the humor of the situation and relinquish your desire to serve when no service is requested. The magnet will attract or repel. Glory in the strength of your polarization and allow others of opposite polarity to similarly do so, seeing the great humor of this polarity and its complications in view of the unification in sixth density of these two paths. Question 67.28 Questioner, thank you very much. I have a statement here that I will have you comment on for accuracy or inaccuracy. In general, the archetypical mind is a representation of facets of the one infinite creation. The father archetype corresponds to the male or positive aspect of electromagnetic energy and is active, creative, and radiant as is our local sun. The mother archetype corresponds to the female or negative aspect of electromagnetic energy and is receptive or magnetic as is our earth as it receives the sun's rays and brings forth life via third density of fertility. The prodigal son or the fool archetype corresponds to every entity who seems to have strayed from unity and seeks to return to the one infinite creator. The devil archetype represents the illusion of the material world and the appearance of evil but is more accurately the provider of catalyst for the growth of each entity within the third density illusion. The magician, saint, healer or adept corresponds to the higher self and, because of the balance within its energy centers, pierces the illusion to contact intelligent infinity and thereby demonstrates mastery of the catalyst of third density. The archetype of death symbolizes the transition of an entity from the yellow ray body to the green ray body either temporarily between incarnations or, more permanently, at harvest. Each archetype presents an aspect of the one infinite creation to teach the individual mind, body, spirit complex according to the calling or the electromagnetic configuration of mind of the entity. Teaching is done via the intuition. With the proper seeking or mind configuration, the power of will uses the spirit as a shuttle to contact the appropriate archetypical aspect necessary for the teach learning. In the same way each of the other informers of intuition contacted. They are hierarchical and proceed from the entity's own subconscious mind to group or planetary mind, to guides, to higher self, to archetypical mind, to cosmic mind or intelligent infinity. Each is contacted by the spirit serving as shuttle according to the harmonized electromagnetic configuration of the seeker's mind and the information sought. Would you please comment on the accuracy of these observations and correct any errors and fill in any omissions? Answer, I am Ra. The entity has been using transferred energy for most of this session due to its depleted physical levels. We shall begin this rather complex answer which is interesting but do not expect to finish it. 
Those portions which we do not respond to we ask that you re-question us on it working in your future. Question 67.29 Questioner, perhaps it would be better to start the next session with the answer to this question. Would that be appropriate or is the energy already fixed? Answer, I am Ra. The energy is as always allotted. The choice, as always, is yours. Question 67.30 Questioner, in that case, continue. Answer, I am Ra. Perhaps the first item we shall address is the concept of the spirit used as a shuttle between the roots and the trunk of mind. This is a misapprehension and we shall allow the questioner to consider the function of the spirit further, for in working with the mind we are working within one complex and have not yet attempted to penetrate intelligent infinity. It is well said that archetypes are portions of the one infinite creator or aspects of its face. It is, however, far better to realize that the archetypes, while constant in the complex of generative energies offered, do not give the same yield of these complexes to any two seekers. Each seeker will experience each archetype in the characteristics within the complex of the archetype which are most important to it. An example of this would be the observation of the questioner that the fool is described in such and such a way. One great aspect of this archetype is the aspect of faith the walking into space without regard for what is to come next. This is, of course, foolish but is part of the characteristic of the spiritual neophyte. That this aspect was not seen may be pondered by the questioner. At this time we shall again request that the query be restated at the next working and we shall at this time cease using this instrument. Before we leave may we ask if there may be any short questions? Question 67.31 Questioner, only if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. Continue, my friends, in the strength of harmony, love, and light. All is well. The alignments are appreciated for their careful placement. I am Ra. I leave you now, my friends, in the glory of the love and the light of the infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.